Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And look, I'm finna show y'all the best shooting badges in 2K23 for every position. Point guard, lockdown spot up, popper, inside center type, you know. Oh, it's shooting, so probably not. But y'all get what I'm saying. The positions, man, every time, okay? And this is why you wanna watch the full video. Every time I play with some, they have the wrong badge. Even comp players, you know, stage guys, pro-am guys, they always have the wrong badges on since 2K14, bro. Okay, always it's like it never fails, and then especially the bots or just everyone they they always have the wrong badges on, bro. So y'all are gonna want to watch this video, get my insight. I've been playing for a while, I know a lot, and I've also talked to a lot of different people and played with a lot of different comp level people, and we talked about stuff, breaking it down. So yeah, man, you're gonna wanna watch this full video. Before we get into that, y'all make sure y'all hit up that like button, man. It helps the vid get pushed to the algorithm. It requires very little effort. Make sure you subscribe if you are new and turn on them goddamn posts. It's supposed to be your moment. This supposed to be your moment. This supposed to be your moment. What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? Okay, now let's get into Ant, man. Basically what this badge does is it reduces um, the penalty you get when you've lost some stamina when you shoot. And in this game, with how unrealistic the stamina is, um, you definitely need a badge like this. Even though this badge is broken, it doesn't speed up your jump shot. It don't change your jump shot. It just helps make the penalty less. I don't know exactly by how much, but a lot of comp players swear by this. And um, it's definitely a must have for all builds, point guards, um, spot ups and uh, poppers, man. So like for the lockdowns and poppers, I might make it either bronze or silver. And for the guards, maybe gold, maybe gold. I don't know about Hall of Fame, bro. Like it's it, it's broken, it don't activate. I wish it would make it to where you jump shots like your normal speed more instead of like, uh, well, two. I don't know, bro. This badge is broke. But uh, for point guards, probably Rocket Gold Hall of Fame, maybe even Silver. And um, yeah. Now, Claymore. According to Mike Wang, man, it activates after like one second after you catch the ball. And um, it gives a it gives a boost. I'm not sure how much, but it's definitely worth it in a game to where no one can shoot, right? Y'all are going to realize when you start playing the game, I don't know if y'all are new or whatever. If you play park if you really play park people are leaving people wide open and you get into a situation where you're waiting with the ball catches they leaving you open they trying to stop the drop especially because that's all people can really do especially bots which is 95 percent of the community right so they're gonna leave you open so you're gonna be able to get a boost with this shot i'm gonna let y'all know a pairing with this badge that's gonna help your shots a lot man but this badge definitely needs to be on even for guards bro um once i learn more about this you know i'll let y'all know more about it in the future but it, it apparently gives a big boost the longer you hold it one through four seconds that's where you know and it gives you a big boost y'all already know waiting with the ball already gives you a boost before you shoot and then now with this is going to give it even more so this is definitely a badge you want for spot ups i would rock it max to be honest especially since they say corner specialists don't be working we'll get into that later but um for for a spot up you're gonna want this max for a guard you know for a spot up you don't you don't want a type type deal before a a guard maybe bronze or, or silver um for like one of them six nine builds like this is a six nine like the iso one uh i did not make this i know y'all see the four defensive badges so for this, they leave like these type of builds open because people can't really shoot. So gold or Hall of Fame, you know? Hey. <clears throat> now, limitless range, bro. Um, For point guards, if you're not struggling shooting, you definitely want to have this silver, gold, even Hall of Fame if you can get it. But I don't think your three is going to be that high. But if it is, go for it, man. I'm hearing 99 uh, limitless. When you have 99.3 and Hall of Fame Limitless, it's it's insanity. But to be honest, if you're struggling shooting, you don't even need Limitless as a, as a guard, bro, to, to be honest, because when you get sharp take, it lasts forever. And you can get your take pretty fast, and they last like 
I think longer than any 2K and it's the single takeover. It's kind of weird, bro. It, it doesn't make sense. Once you get sharp take, you don't even need limitless range. It's it's crazy. Um, I don't know. But definitely if you're a guard, you know, you might want to have this on, right? But you don't need it, okay? If you're spot up and stuff, mm, locked down, you know, if you bullying people, you know, really messing them up, you, you can go for it. Like, and, and you got like a nice team, you'll get some nice clips, but like for competitively not to waste your badge points, you don't need to invest in this either. Unless like you got like a comp meta thing and you know, you trying to, you know, catch people off and you're a nice shooter. For majority of y'all, y'all don't need this. You know, the sharp take will be enough once you get that. Um, but it definitely works and it's, 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 it's OP, but you know, everyone's struggling. So if you can't hit a normal shot, how are you gonna be able to hit a limitless shot? You know, it, it all depends. So for guard, silver, gold, if you can, if you want, and then maybe the spot ups, maybe bronze or, or not at all. Now, Deadeye, bro, nobody's really using this badge, so nobody really knows, but every 2K, bro, it barely pops up. It barely uh, does anything, bro. It's, a, it's, a, it's like a ghost badge. Who knows if it really works? Some guards think it does every year, some guards don't. I don't, especially this year when you have like limited badge points, nobody's using this uh badge so i recommend not using it unless you try it out y'all let me know y'all's uh opinions about dead eye and what what you have found i don't think it's worth investing any badge point. now cl clutch shooter's cool man you know ain't been no test on it uh i haven't really tested it myself but it's something that you one to one to but it's something that you could invest in, man. They say it activates after like 13 points. That's what they've always said every year. Um, I wouldn't recommend going, it, it all depends. Cause if you have like extra badge points, you could go and like do something like this, you know, or like this, but who knows how big the boost really is. Y'all let me know y'all's findings. Um, to be honest, I would try to get it at like a silver level for spot ups and stuff. Maybe a guard too. Because if you, this is more for if you struggle to shoot. If you struggle to shoot, um, especially like after like, and this is not for record pro -Am. I don't even think you should have this on for record pro -Am. But for like park and tools, you know, that extra boost is gonna help you, bro. Uh, when the game starts to get tighter and it, th this could really help you out, man. So I, I think silver, it's probably what you wanted on maybe even bronze I, i'm not too sure if it's helpful but definitely if you have badge points man test it out on these levels man see if you notice a difference bro i, I think i think you possibly could now catch and shoot bro to be honest as a tier three badge i know this might sound crazy with how the game is and how people can't shoot even as a guard bro i would invest in catch and shoot over over blinders <laughs> over dead eye and limitless range isn't that crazy because people are struggling you listening to this you're clicking on this video because you're probably struggling to shoot this is more effective than these badges than this badge this badge and this badge it's probably the most effective badge besides like claymore and agent threes bro like it's like top tier bro like if you just go off of how people are playing people are leaving people open bro do you not understand they're leaving people open off of passes and stuff like they're 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 so scared of the drive so it's like if you if you're struggling to shoot bro and you have this this is gonna help you bro so like i would put this whole on gold bro to be honest man and even, even, I think everyone should max this out or have it at bronze or silver. It is, it's, it, <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, just based off how people play, this is a badge that you want on your build for every build, man. <clears throat> now, bro, Comeback Kid, according to 2K Lab, activates after like, you're down seven points. So if you're good at the game, 
there's no point of this badge. I wouldn't have this on. But um, if you're not too good at it, you could definitely have this on, man. And they, they saying the boost is crazy. So, I mean, if it's something you want to invest in, if you're always a losing nigga, a bot, which I know a lot of you are, and that's okay. You can invest in this, you know? Okay, blinders, complete waste. No point to use it. Um, In the past, they um said blinders was only good at Hall of Fame. You can't get... uh. Hall of Fame. Most people don't even have Hall of Fame. So you see, you got to have a 94 MIDI or 97.3. People are investing that much. So it's kind of a useless badge. When you look at comp players, play stage players, all that, nobody's using it. So I mean, if any of y'all got any, any of these builds to where we can use it on Hall of Fame, maybe let me know. But it's a waste of a badge point for bronze or silver, bro, to be honest probably even gold too and in, in the past it was a waste until hall of fame so yeah now mini magician man this all depends on your play style man doing the whole pull-ups oh my controller finna die doing the whole pull-ups the spin shots and the fadeaways right it activates on post shots too so this is a very op badge if you are a twos player um a ones player um this is something you definitely are going to want to invest in even if you are a pro and rec player man because sometimes you it, it makes you a lot more unpredictable if you're not just shooting the three you can come in the inside and hit a fade like that you know or um do some type of post stuff it makes you more unpredictable and unstoppable and especially if you know how to use like walk backs you can walk back into a fade or a spin shot or something so i i think this is definitely a decent badge man especially in the game where people are struggling to shoot this could definitely be used but as a main ball handler i wouldn't invest uh anything into this on the threes okay on the threes i wouldn't invest in anything into this un unless it's your style and you need it and you know you really master it um, on the fives, I would probably invest a little more, maybe silver, gold, even half, man. Now for the spot ups, again, maybe for the lockdowns, you know, they catch it, then they like act like they're going to go dunk, but then they just fade at the midi. Um, it, it, it could definitely be useful, but I, I wouldn't use badge points into this unless you have extra badge points, you know? And I think any level would, would help you a little bit. Try to find the balance in that shit, though. Now, bro, this guard up badge, don't put nothing into this, bro. This does not work for so many players. Now, let me tell you something I found out. Someone told me that it only activates on 610 and up builds. Okay, I don't even remember who told me this. So if you're not 610 and up, don't even give it a try, bro. If you're 610 and up, try it out um a lot of people they can't even core this they can't even use this but like bigger builds for some reason it always activates i don't know if it's some type of glitch or something but don't invest shit into this nigga unless like you you're a bigger build and it's working for you man now look slippery off ball for a guard is kind of pointless um the only reason this badge would be good is if your team uses screens, okay? Like, say your lock sets you screens, or maybe your uh, guard sets you screens. It makes it to where your lock, or it makes it to where whoever sets the screen, they can cut and pop faster and get way better animations and movement speed. So if you're one of those positions, you wanna have this maxed, okay? try it out let me know how you feel about it or maybe it might be lower you know figure it out though but only for those type of builds man green machine bro here's another badge that that i that, that i think is definitely overrated again every year it gets overrated you have the most bot people running green machine bro listen 
If Green Machine still is the same that they've been saying these past, it only starts to activate after your third shot, even if it pops up for some reason after your first, shot. unless that's changed. If it really starts to boost stuff after one shot, then maybe, yeah. But if it's after three, who is greening three shots, then the game's like not over. You know, if you're not a 2v2 player and you like shoot a lot, there's no point of this badge. Do you understand? If you are a spot up, stop putting this badge on. Until we find out it boosts after every single green and it's like tremendous. Until that's known or you feel a difference, this shit is pointless, bro. Stop wasting your badge points. If you are a 3v3 player, waste. If you are a main PG for Pro-Am, maybe then, okay? wreck all that yeah maybe but everyone else stop putting this on you're not shooting that many shots okay and you're not greening like you it's 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 more important than last year because everything's green now but it's like if anything put it on bronze bro i see too many people invest way too much man tighten up man but we need one of the modded controller niggas to test this shit out and have it accurate see if it works after one shot i mean <laughs> some of they test bro it's like bro like let us know the real does it activate after one shot but i don't know i don't i don't think no one's made a green machine video this year y'all let me know when anytime y'all see any type of 2k news any type of video send them to me bro i'll be so busy I, I'm, I sometimes i'll be out the loop bro now space creator man it's, it's a pretty decent badge bro i wouldn't put this on the lock or the uh center uh for your guard, first, you have to learn how to do this. This has to be a play style, man. Um, I see a lot of people put this badge on and they never do the move. If you don't do the move, learn it, really incorporate it to your game, you are wasting badge points. It seems pretty decent. Uh, you know, if you play like Young Sino, then, you know, it could be real dope. Y'all let me know y'all's uh, feedback with a uh, space creator, bro. If you play like that, you want to incorporate it in your game, but actually, bro, actually do it, okay? If you're not going to do it, don't add it, okay? There's a reason you don't see, like, this a lot. Like, don't just add it. Really incorporate it, lab it up, consciously make an effort. And, um, yeah, bro, uh, for the guard, you know, for the guard, I mean, you could Hall of Fame gold type stuff, you know, but... Even even a lower tier would be cool. It's it's, it's 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 really up to you, bro. I don't really recommend this. There's this much more important stuff, but this is for a skilled play position. You know, you have to be skilled and all that. Jump shot timing changes. It's, if you're not one of those, don't do it. Now, volume shooter. I will max this hoe out if you are a guard. A guard. Everyone's hyping this badge up. Especially with how everyone is missing, bro. Everyone is taking a ton of shots. If you are a guard, you want this maxed. If you are a lock, maybe bronze, silver, same with center. Because you might get a lot of shots too. But who knows if the, the lower tier ones is really good enough yet. But if you're a guard, you definitely want this whole max, man. Agent 3s, maxed. It, it helps out on so many many shots bro fades it's it's mixed in with with chef say you do certain dribble moves and stuff now you're gonna see agent threes pop up and when it's not even a fade bro so and fades are back they're broken you know all that other shit you definitely need this badge even if you're not a fader bro because it activates on certain other dribble moves um just dribble dribbling around and shooting like shots bro so you, you need this badge basically all them badges they took out last year bro it, it became agent threes this is now the most important shooting badge for guards you need it maxed okay you need it maxed now corner specialist man everyone will not all i know about corner specialist man is it was always a must i would always say tell everyone max it out every year 
But you know, 2K Live dropped a video, man. People told me to go check it out, man. Basically didn't work, you know? And a lot of comp people saying they ain't really notice much. The stage players I be running with. But Ja Easy, man, you know, he's a YouTuber. He says that video is cap and that he noticed that when he took it off, he started missing more. When he put it back on, it started helping him more. And then iPod said that he noticed the same thing. So y'all let me know what y'all think down below. I would, uh, I more believe, um, I don't know. I probably more believe 2K Live, maybe. But I don't know. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. It could be either or. Not everything um, the modded controller people like put out is always like a hundred percent, but you know it be spot on. It, it give us it give us a bigger idea of what's going on. To 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 be honest, but yeah, man, y'all let me know down below y'all's experience with all these badges. You know, help each other out down below. You know, so we can all shoot in this goddamn uh broken ass uh ten different timing jump shot video game. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on uh, Twitch. Link is in the description. Make sure you become a member to my YouTube channel if you wanna get added to the friends list. Play games with me, 1v1 me. Or if you just wanna support your boy and click one of these two videos, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me, now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.